Hey guys, welcome to Wanderlusting Lawyer. Welcome back. Um, this is my first video I'm making since finishing the Camino Aragones. Um, actually, I did a couple days on the end of the Chemin d'Arles or, or the Voie d'Arles. I've heard it called a few different things in southern France, and then that leads into the Camino Aragones in Spain. Um, so I have on my channel, if you've been following, you know that I posted, a f I think, uh, videos about the first four days of the Camino when I was doing it, um, and then I stopped. And that happened for a few reasons, but mostly because the first couple of days, I stayed either in private, like a private room in a hotel, or when I was in an albergue, um, I was the only person there. So I had time to make the videos, whereas I think every other night except for one, I was in shared accommodations and I was trying to post pictures and draft uh, posts for like the different Facebook groups that I'm in, recounting the journey. Um, so that's why I didn't get a chance to uh, do the videos kind of live. But I'm still gonna make videos for each of the other days. I will be looking down, I have notes here um, because I just, I went back through my pictures and the the little videos I was making along the way to kind of refresh my memory of each day. And I'm going to eventually make like a, like a video comp of all the little video, compilation of all the little videos I took along the way and pictures. Uh, I'll have to learn how to do some software, some editing first for that, but that's definitely one of the goals. Um, but today, yeah, so this is, I didn't show this before, but this is actually the Pilgrim's Passport that I got um, this time. And it's funny because I got it in France, but it's in Spanish, so that was a little surprising. But as you can see, I didn't have too many stamps as a shorter Camino. Um, but yeah, I just saw this the other day as I was uh, finishing unpacking some stuff and so I thought I'd show you guys that. Um, so day five was from the city of Jaca in Spain to Ares. Um, Jaca is actually the biggest city that you'll come across on the Camino Aragones. It's a really cute city, really walkable. Um, I can't remember if I said this in the video that I made in when I was in Hakka, but I stayed in a, a really cute private hotel called Pura, Vi Pura Vida um, because the Pilgrim's Albergue did not open until three and I got into Hakka pretty early and just wanted to kind of shower and then go visit San Juan de la Peña. Um, but so leaving in the morning, I was looking for like a place to get pastries before I left, you know, just some some food for the road. And there was only one place that was open. I think it was called the Horn Orno Jaques, um, J A Q U E S or J A C Q U E S. I don't remember which spelling. Um, and it's pr it's right down the street from the albergue, so uh, it's pretty easy to find. And then if you if you leave and you look when you leave the um, bakery and you look left you'll see a big Camino way marking. So it'll be easy to get out of the city. And actually the way marking all throughout Hakka is really, really easy to follow. They have these big posts, um, kind of modern, like part of it, are the steel structure is kind of modern looking, but then with a very clear Camino symbol. So you'll be able to navigate easily out of the city. And you'll probably also be on the path, at least maybe for the first 30 minutes or so with some locals. It seems to be a pretty popular walking trail in the area. Um, I will say too, that you wanna get cash before you leave because you will not be able to get cash for at least the next uh, three days. So the two places you'll stay after will not have any services. And um, I think both of them require, well, no, the next, the one in Arres that I'm gonna talk about is a donativo, but obviously you most likely wanna leave some um, some euros and then the in Ruesta the next night it's also cash only and there's it's in a, some ruins so there's no ATM there so get some cash as you're leaving um, maybe make sure you have a couple snacks because there's not a lot on the way this day um, there is you know so on the way there's one city you'll come one small town you'll come to called Santa Celia at least when I was there, the only things that were open was a bar, which had no food. 
um, but locals drinking coffee and beer and stuff. And that the pool, the public pool was open and they had like a little like canteen area that had, I think, hot dogs and pizza and chips. Um, there is one restaurant on the way, but it's pretty fancy. I actually ended up stopping there because I had nowhere else to eat. It is called, um, da, 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 da. sorry, I'm looking for the name. Uh, I guess I did not write it down. I thought I did, but um, it is, I th oh no, it's, I think it's Restaurante El Bosque. It'll be on the right-hand side on the path. You won't be able to miss it. It's after Santa Celia. And then also there is a town called um, Puente, I think it's Puente La Reina de Jaca, not to be confused with Puente La Reina, which is where the Aragonese finishes uh, and connects with the Camino Frances. But you have to get a little off the Camino path to go into the town. I mean, it's like a few minutes, but it's just not right on the path. So there are a couple options, but like I said, maybe you grab some food before you leave Jaca. Um, also, another thing to mention about this day, it, it feels really quintessentially Camino, um, some up and down hills and some flat stretches, kind of rocky, so my blisters were not super happy with that. Um, but about five kilometers into the journey, there will be a turnoff on the left-hand side to hike to San Juan de la Peña. Uh, if you want to take on that challenge, it is all uphill or seemingly looks all uphill uh, and it makes for a pretty long day but it I did meet um, one pilgrim who actually was walking there so it's doable and there I think are one or two cute towns along the way so you'll just want to be looking for uh, a path off to your left that'll and there will be a big sign like there will be a sign a little bit up off the left that'll show the map when San Juan de la Peña but there's no big sign that's like turn here for San Juan de la Peña um and then the other thing to mention about this day is that there's a the last three kilometers to get to Arres it's almost as if it's like a challenge to see if you're worthy it's a three kilometer uphill pretty rocky narrow path it was probably about 92 degrees and maybe four in the afternoon as I was walking it um so <clears throat> yeah just keep that in mind for the end it's like our race is actually you know it's not linear the path you go you basically climb up to get to this small town and then the next day you climb down to get out um, but that means it has some amazing views. And when the little town comes into view, um, the Donativo Alberga is right there. And it's a really wonderful place to stay. We were told it was actually built uh, several years ago by pilgrims, um, you know, wanting to add some infrastructure to this Camino. And normally they have 16 beds. Right now during COVID, only eight were available. So um, two people, act, two pilgrims actually got turned away, but there is another like small hotel in town that's right above a bar. So it's a cute, it's a tiny town, but there is a bar. So you can get some afternoon beers and then there's a communal um, dinner and that's prepared by the hospitaleros and it's just a great time to share you know some moments with your fellow pilgrims that's where i really got to start to like get to know the people i was going to be seeing for the next several days um because there aren't a lot of places to stop until you get to Puente La Reina. Like it's pretty set what your stopping points are going to be. So that was great to get to know them. Uh, they even brought out this special, I can't remember the name now, but it's a special um, like liquor that is from that region. And it's kind of has like a, I think it has like a licorice type of a flavor. Um, so that was special. And then they took us up to see the sunset from the highest point in the town and gave us a tour of the tiny, tiny local church. Um, so that was, yeah, it was really special. It was a cute place to stay. Um, plenty of room to dry your clothes out back. Uh, I mean, the bunk beds weren't the most comfortable thing in the world, but it was, it was totally fine. And I was just happy to finally get that traditional pilgrim experience again because I hadn't had it at all until I got to Arres. So all in all, it was a, a really good day. And um, thinking back on it now, it's, I really find memories and it's, it is definitely one of the more special al albergue experiences. So I hope you guys get a chance to stay there. Thanks. And as always, buen camino.